G'day and welcome back to the garage. Today, we're building a traditional hot rod. So let's imagine it's the mid to late 30s and I'm getting right into this car scene. So I'm gonna build myself a period correct pre-war Model A Ford Phaeton Salt or Dry Lake Racer, exactly how I probably would have made it or how they made it back in the day. Not a lot of money, like me, on a tight budget on a car that wasn't really that old, um, but they're worth nothing. New cars were coming out, Model A's were junk, um, the V8s were out, and uh, here I am. I want to get in the scene, I want to build me a car to go race with my mates and have a bit of fun. So that's the plan. I want it to look like it was, it would look back in the mid 30s. So that means getting rid of all these hop up parts like my Anson manifold, um, downdraft carburetor. Well, they would have run downdrafts, but I want to make it period correct. No, no, no mistakes. Mechanical brakes, um, exactly how it would have been done. You know, that means I'm going to have to get rid of my 12 volt alternator, um, find myself, or I've got one over there, but I don't see any good. Um, original 6 volt generator. Um, but, you know, solid mounted as they would have been. Get rid of my floater kit. And um, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm excited about this build. I've got limited time. I have limited money. I've been collecting parts here for a while. And um, I'm kind of ready to go. There's a bit of stuff I've got to make. And a lot of stuff that's, uh, that I've already got. The engine's coming out of the coupe, out of the mongrel. That's going to be my power plant. Um, I've got, yeah. I've got enough to, to get me going. So short amount of time, I want to make it look right. I'm not building a rat rod, I'm building a period correct pre-war dry lake racer. Exactly how it would have looked back in the mid 30s. So let's sweep out this shed and let's do this. So we need to pull the global warmer out of this thing. Um, I want to try and keep this thing rolling if I can, and, um, but I'm going to need this steering column. This is getting the V8, and we won't be using that one, so yeah. And the beauty thing about this motor, it's an original 1928 motor. Um, it came out of a 28 car, the engine number's correct 1928. Um, 1928 headlights, what else have we got in here that we're going to use? Not much more than that, it's a shame about my automotive because that works awesome but that didn't exist in 1935 or whenever so we can't use it. Tucked in behind my top workbench in the top shed is a reconditioned set of rear brakes. Perfect. The chassis is early 1928 and how I know that it has the handbrake mounted to the chassis rail on the um, left hand side. It was a left hand drive car and how I know that will that to start with. So that's where your steering box mounts. But if you look on the right hand side, it's not drilled. It's got the big hole. The smaller holes aren't drilled. This is a very, very early, I think they call it the AR Model A chassis. So I'm going to have to drill them for my right hand drive steering box. But yeah, it's going to be very correct, which is exciting. Here's an old original front cross member. Um, it has the mounts for the engine. This is the original uh, front cross member for that engine that I've got. It came off the same car. Original radiator, uh, which I'll need to get cleaned out because it's blocked. Um, my rear tub section, which I picked up the other day up from Tamworth, which is uh, it's pretty good. I've got an awesome 28 Roadster cow. So the tank and all the panels for that. Um, there's my rear doors. I don't have front doors yet. I'm probably either going to try and find some at the right price or make them. I really don't think that'd be hard to make. I'm going to run my 34 wires on it, which will be cool. Um, I'm going to be running my splash aprons, which were on the mongrel originally. Um, what else? My front ends. So I've got a couple of these, so I'll make a good one out of these mechanical brakes, reconditional kingpins and brakes and get that all working properly. Here behind the 28 coupe cow is the diff that I took out of the mongrel originally which we found out was okay so that's going in this one with all the mechanicals. 
I said we're losing the uh, the downdraft setup because um, that ma that manifold is not pre-war. And I'm sure you've heard people say that too many carbs aren't good for you. But I would tend to disagree with that in here. I have a heap of cast iron zeniths, which I'll be using. I'll be using more than one of those. I'll keep under my belt exactly what I'm doing until we get to that stage. But that's, uh, we're running them things, man. Cool, I'm excited, I'm so excited. It's the original generator off my um, mongrel when I first built it, when it was the uh, roads to pick up. And it used to work, actually. And then it stopped working, so it might be something simple. I can't remember what happened, a wire broke or something happened to it anyway. And that's when I went to the 12 volt setup. But we'll see if we can resurrect this or find another one. But we want to make it um, we want to make it right. Say so we get some stands, we get this chassis in here and we dummy it up and um, get some inspiration. What do you reckon? Bam! really the next job is a list. I like working with lists and um, we'll get a list up and running so we stay on track. I do have limited time like I said and I want to get this thing done sooner than later. So that's that. I'll leave the introduction as that. Um, next episode we will pull the engine and gearbox and the other bits and pieces I need off the, uh, the mongrel and we'll dummy that in. I'm gonna have to make up, repair, or get some new engine mounts because someone's gas axed them off. I could probably fix them. Um, yeah, I've got all, or a lot of the mechanical brake parts. We'll start getting that out, nut it out. We'll assemble it first, and then um, we'll pull it apart, clean it up, paint it, and then put it back together. So this is fun. I love it. It's good times. Front doors might be an issue, but like I said. Now what the profiles on these doors are easy, and I reckon I could probably make a set worth a try. What have I got to lose? It's just um, it's just time. So anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. I hope you're inspired. And um, yeah, this is this is uh, this is going to happen thick and fast. I can guarantee you that. I need it on the road sooner than later. Anyway, that's it. Stay cool. See ya. Thank you.